Train the muscles, not the joints. Mountain. Welcome back to A Natural Line Bodybuilding. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about three supplements that can help you feel fuller and more energetic in the gym and possibly make your diet more effective. Because the thing is you could be eating properly, but if your body's not absorbing the food properly, or maybe it just has some sort of inability to receive the carbohydrates and the glycogen, you might not have the energy for the workout in the first place. So there's not much point in having a great workout program if you don't have the energy to perform it. The first thing I'm gonna say is that there are three simple supplements that can help you and they're not the normal supplements that we'll talk about like creatine, glutamine, BCAAs, those ones. I'm gonna talk about three supplements that are not necessarily as well known in the bodybuilding community or, or at least as well respected in the bodybuilding community but they can help you have a lot more energy in the gym. And one of these things is vitamin C. Now vitamin C is incredibly important for collagen, uh, basically binding collagen together so it helps with ligaments, tendons, bones and all this kind of stuff, putting all your tissues together which is integral when it comes down to bodybuilding but also vitamin C assists you with being an insulin mimicker. So if you have vitamin C with your food, it will help you absorb that food more effectively. That's why you see vitamin C in a lot of supplements out there because it assists with absorbability. Now this is information that I've gotten from my brother a long time ago, but this is something that has also been known with creatine. Some people uh, actually added vitamin C with their creatine in order to be able to absorb more creatine. So that's one supplement that I find is very effective to take on a regular basis with your meals during the day. Maybe only, maybe only take one gram of vitamin C a day with one meal, or maybe you take a couple grams a day, but usually this is enough to assist you with energy production. Now with my own personal experience when I was playing hockey, I noticed the days that I took vitamin C with my meals, I had more energy when I did my cardio workout. When I was actually on the ice skating, I had more energy and my body was better able to utilize the carbohydrates that I was eating. So it was very noticeable. It wasn't like a minor thing. It was actually very noticeable. Now the second supplement I will talk about is alpha lipoic acid. Now this is a supplement which is also working like an insulin mimicker, but it's also a powerful antioxidant which is capable of bypassing the blood brain barrier. Now when you add alpha lipoic acid to your meals, it will assist as well with that energy uptake from those meals. So your body will be able to absorb those meals without secreting as much insulin. So alpha lipoic acid can be an integral part of not only getting more antioxidants into your diet, but also being able to absorb more of the nutrition from the meals. So again, you might be eating great nutrition, but if you're not absorbing it, this can really impede your progress in the gym. This caveman dieting, see? Just chicken breast and an apple, there you go. That's simple. You just put a little pack with a little cooler in there, hey? A little hey. bit of ice, a little bit of ice, and you're good to go. Speed the camera in. Nice so vitamin C and alpha lipoic acid can really help this process and therefore you're going to get more effectiveness, if that's a word, from your eating. Now the third supplement I'm going to say is another one that is going to help with this and that's called chromium picolinate. Now chromium helps your body become more sensitive to the insulin you're secreting therefore you need to secrete less insulin. So chromium picolinate has been known to be very effective for anybody that has instable or unstable blood sugar levels and has a problem with insulin resistance. Now why is insulin resistance a problem? If you're insulin resistant you're going to be more apt to putting on body fat and you're not going to have as stable energy levels and you're also not going to be able to shuttle nutrients into the muscle cells as effectively because once again the insulin is responsible for this and if your body's not responding to the insulin you're not going to recover as well because you're not able to absorb the nutrients. So chromium picolinate can assist you with being more sensitive to the insulin so that way it becomes more anabolic and you start to use that nutrition synergistically with the other supplements. You start to use it more effectively, right? Okay, not exactly a bodybuilding hardcore meal, but sometimes I just don't give a shit, really. <laughs> so, so sometimes it's just good to relax. And if you do this once in a while, it's not a big deal, but, but not all the time. That's the thing. Do it all the time. You'll notice that your physique will change quite significantly in a bad way, a very bad way. And I keep kicking the table. That's why you guys are shaking it. Don't worry. It's not an earthquake. Mount Galantian is not under some sort of earthquake right now. So 
Don't worry, you're okay, you're safe. So if you use vitamin C, alpha-lipoic acid, and chromium picolinate, you may notice a massive synergistic effect, not only in the energy you have in your workouts, but also in your massive, massive balloony and, and pumpitudity. You're, you're not, not increasing your attitude, but your pumpitude. Mountain. So yeah, try these three supplements out. They're pretty cheap. They're actually not expensive at all. They're easy enough to buy at your local vitamin store or on Amazon or something like that. And uh, maybe I'll put some links down below if you want to get some specifically that I uh, provide links for. But yeah, try those out. And my brother will be writing up a supplement review pretty quick and that will be up on my website. So he's going to go more in depth in why these things work the way they do and cite some research studies and stuff like that to support it as well. So anyway, I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get only, just go to naturalgallantbodybuilding.com and thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Mom.